Hi there, Mats Adolt here from Assimilate. Uh, we're showing uh, Live of VIX in the B&H booth here at NAB. Um, Live of VIX is about virtual production, live compositing, and we mainly differentiate between two kinds of workflows, green screen based and LED wall based. So what we do for green screen is obviously that you can key the talent in front of green screen and uh, replace the green screen with a background of your choice. That can be 2D, that can be 3D, that can be uh, 360 textures, uh, whatever you want. Um, for 3D textures, we support uh, notch blocks natively, but we also have a lifelink integration with Unreal Engine, so we can forward camera tracking information, scene and take information to Unreal, and fetch the uh, uh, image from Unreal, the rendered uh, content, back into LiveFX through SDI, NDI, or uh, direct uh, texture sharing on the GPU, which happens with zero latency, which is pretty cool, but obviously requires you to run Unreal Engine and LiveFX on the same machine. Um, so next, uh, what we do is, um, uh, when you load uh, a virtual background to replace the green screen with, uh, what you can do is draw a region of interest, like a little rectangle, uh, over the content or multiples, and have LiveFX average the color uh, inside such a region of interest and send that exact color, uh, color down DMX or ArtNet to the stage lighting. So uh, this especially helps uh, for, for well, let me call it dynamic content. So uh, imagine you're keying the green screen and you're replacing it with a scene where there's a light going on and off next to the actor's face. So you would want that reflection, the, the light, on the actor's face, right? Um, and of course you can simulate that in post and VFX, but it's a ton of work. So what you can do instead is you replace the green screen with that background inside Life of X, you draw that region of interest over um, that part of the image where the light goes on and off, and then you control uh, you can control stage lighting, put up an Ari Sky panel or you know whatever DMX slash ArtNet enabled lighting you have and simulate that light on the actor's face or a burning house or car going to a tunnel. There's so many applications. Um, so that's what we do for, for green screen compositing. Uh, for LED wall-based workflows, it's, uh, it's simpler as a matter of fact. Uh, basically, LiveVix serves as the player content provider to the LED processor. Uh, it can remote control uh, various parameters of the LED processor. We currently support Brompton and uh, Megapixel VR. Um, and uh, yeah, you can obviously live color grade the content. Uh, you can apply shaders, plugins, uh, like in this scene currently we're letting it snow in a TV studio. Um, vignettes, you can add in other elements, lower thirds or logos or, you know, uh, animated stuff with alpha channels, etc., etc. Really, anything you can think of that you would want to do in post, LiveVix can do with a live signal. Uh, camera tracking. Obviously, uh, we support various camera trackers. Um, the high end is covered with Moses and NCAM, which we're showing here. Um, so, uh, an NCAM uh, tracker is mounted to the camera over there and, uh, yeah, basically uh, is linked to the virtual camera in this 3D scene that we're currently showing here. So when you move pan tilt the camera, uh, that movement uh, will also be applied to the virtual camera uh, here in the 3D scene. Um, on the lower end, uh, or mid-range, maybe mid-range, uh, we support HTC Vive and um, Intel RealSense and also the Stereolabs uh, Z2 camera. And on the let me call it budget end. We, uh, we support various iPhone or Android apps, um, making use of the gyroscope or AR kit. Um, and these are linked in uh, via open sound control protocol. So that's also a possibility. And we actually also uh, read the SDI metadata from various cameras. And uh, cameras like the, the uh, Arri Alexa support um, gyroscope metadata inside the SDI signal. So with every frame, we also get uh, pan tilt roll information from that camera. Uh, we're not getting XYZ position of the camera in the room, obviously, but hey, gyroscope's better than nothing. And we capture it through the SDI and you can link uh, any uh, parameter, any dynamic metadata that comes in through SDI to any parameter in live fix. For instance, you'll also get the uh, zoom or the, the focal length uh, from the lens eventually. And you can use that parameter and tie it uh, to a blur parameter of a texture. So by you know changing the the focal length on the lens, you can blur a parameter inside Life Fix, things like that. Um, what else? Okay, two main uh, advantages in Life Fix. Uh, one thing is that it's a creative app. We come from a post-production background, which means um, 
not only does it uh, have support for all the camera RAW formats or non-RAW formats out there, it also ships with support for grading panels. Uh, you can even create your own grading panel through Open Sound Control if you want using Touch Designer or whatever you have there. Um, but most importantly, it speaks the language of a creative professional. Uh, so you don't have to be a programmer, you don't have to work in a programming environment like Unreal Engine is, um, unless you really, really want to. Um, well, that makes LiveFX much easier to learn, much easier to adapt, um, and it's fairly modest with its hardware requirements. It doesn't require tons of GPUs. One strong GPU is really enough. Um, the other thing that we have going for us is uh, connection to post. So, when you do a live composite with various elements in there, um, LiveFX listens to the record trigger from the camera. So once you hit record on the camera, LiveFX starts recording as well. And it records all assets, or all animations separately. And as soon as the uh, recording stops, uh, what LiveFX does is it creates a so-called offline composite. Basically a duplicate of your live composite, but with all the live sources uh, switched against what we just recorded. And now you can go in and fine tweak those animations and everything. And eventually, after you offloaded the high resolution uh, camera raw media, because likely you will have recorded HD through SDI, right? So once you offloaded the camera raw media, you can create what we call an online composite. Um, and then you have the high resolution media, you have all the animation data, camera tracking information, lens information, all that stuff. And you can render metadata rich dailies from that. Or uh, you can render uh, high quality OpenEXR plates for VFX, which also carry all that frame based metadata, which a compositor can use to link to his virtual camera and have his virtual camera inside the compositor uh, behave the exact same way the physical camera uh, did on set. LiveFX is currently in open beta uh, until, yeah, probably mid to end of May. That's when we're targeting the release for LiveFX and LiveFX Studio. LiveFX Studio will support the higher end uh, camera trackers and also support uh, uh, all sorts of LED wall based workflows with uh, LED processor uh, remote control and stuff like that. Um, and LiveFX, the, the basic version, uh, will mainly be targeted at green screen uh, based workflows. If you want to find out more, head over to assimilateinc.com and you will be greeted with all the infos about the beta right there on the front page.